we ordered every single thing on the menu. Hey, Gerard the Completionist, you fat loser. You've been pretty MIA, haven't you, huh? You've been MIA. Yeah, I guess you finally realized that no one on YouTube cares about your stupid garbage channel when you're the one that friggin' took $600,000 of hard people's, people's hard-earned money and did not donate it to a charity of your cause. Instead, it went to the Open Hand Foundation, aka the Open Mouth Foundation. That food funneled straight into your goddamn gut because you converted. $600,000 of charity money into $600,000 of fast food deliveries while you're sitting there dwelling in your disgusting, dirty basement, crushing your stupid dog with your fat Hellboy forearm on the left side and your stupid cat crawling up your disgusting arm on the right side, eating the goddamn lice out of your hair, huh? You didn't upload on Saturday. Where's your next garbage upload? Huh? Or maybe you're working on Donkey Kong Country 2, Diddy's Conquest. That's the only upload that anyone is waiting for you for you to release because no one cares about your whole little life that you got on YouTube, huh? You thought the fatter and fatter you got and the longer and disgusting your neck beard. And the only, the only point of showing me the tax returns was the fact that no money had been donated. So that was it. Right. Just, just that the money hadn't been donated. And got the more and more money you can take from people while sitting there like a friggin fat neck beard on your diarrhea colored couch with your dumb little popcorn chicken mic talking through your hot breath at stupid indie land aka shovel land no i do not want to play another pixelated friggin platformer and pay 49 cents on the dollar on steam i had enough of those games hey gerard the fat cuck i had enough of you playing these stupid food games at friggin indie land you literally in a wheel and one of the options on the wheel is cover yourself in hot sauce i've had it i've had it with you and your stupid scandalous fraudulent ways gerard the cuck huh or maybe the reason real reason you didn't upload a video on saturday is because you're in a food coma right For, i guess friday night right you had the six hundred thousand dollar shawarmas board that you're freaking stuffing your fat face with and you cannot wait to freaking get fatter and lay on your stupid little mattress there dwelling like a piece of trash that you are you have still been in a food coma since then and guess what no one cares about your garbage uploads no one cares about your stupid little indie land shovelware land oh it's all for a good cause guys it's all it's all for a good cause please for indie land 2023 equates to 76 thousand three hundred and three dollars and thirty three cents donate your twitch bits no gerard i'm not gonna donate you more bacon bits so you can sprinkle it on the top of your little cupcake ice cream and shove it in your fat face down in one hole no oh it's all guys guys please donate your subs no gerard you are not gonna freaking buy a mr sub foot long at friggin for a breaded chicken foot long and you're not gonna go over to the other side of the plaza and order that same goddamn foot long on brown bread that doesn't make a difference gerard it's the same foot long at a different store just because one's brown bread and one's white bread that doesn't make it a different goddamn meal you fat prick huh you make me friggin' sick crying like a little girl on your stupid leaked Discord call by Mustafa and Carl Jones. How much were you crapping your pants there, Gerard? Well, we know that you can't crap in a toilet because every time you sit on a goddamn toilet with your 600-pound fat frame, you're going to friggin' destroy the porcelain bowl and the whole goddamn friggin' plumbing industry is back at the goddamn drawing board because of Gerard the Lard ruining the whole plumbing experience in every single place that he enters. That's why the Indyland toilets are broken that's why the stalls in Indie Land can't even fit Gerard's fat girth in it. He needs to walk into the handicap stall so it has enough room for that fat. I'm no longer a part of Super Beard Bros. They made an announcement a couple days ago on the YouTube channel. Idiot to friggin' drop a rocket deuce in it because he's been eating all friggin' day. That's all he does. On Friday night, I bet you this guy ate himself into a coma. He wasn't able to friggin' upload a video. Sunday, no video, still in the coma. Monday, still in the coma. What does he care? He doesn't have to work. He took $600,000 of charity money while you thought you guys were freaking donating to freaking cancer research, uh, dementia research, breast cancer research. No, 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 no. It's going right into Gerard's gut because he found the secret formula. The secret formula to Gerard the Lord's success, the fatter and neckbeard you get, the more richer and greedier you get because that's why they're still running that annual golf tournament, by the way. You know, Gerard's dad, that freaking uh, corrupt prick right there, he has still run 
running his annual golf tournament in May. So head on over, guys. Head on over to donate and hit that big fat donate button to go into the Open Mouth Foundation because there's different tiers that you need to donate. For $10,000, you can get the Big Mac tier. For $9,000, you can get the double cheeseburger tier. For $7,000, you can get the friggin' chili cheese burrito tier. For $6,000, there's the Fry Supreme. For $5,000, there's a large fries. For four attendance, you can actually go buy one from the lobby, so please go do that. All the proceeds and all those things do go to charity. We don't touch any of it. If you at home want to help out, here's some great ways you can donate. Four thousand dollars is a friggin' hash brown. For three thousand dollars, there's a dairy cream ice cream. For two thousand dollars, it's a friggin' Timbit. And for one thousand dollars, if you just feel like it, become a donate buddy. No, Gerard, I'm not gonna donate you money so that you can eat transfer all that crap into your friggin' Uber Eats and DoorDash account. And then from then on in, you're friggin' ordering deliveries so that the friggin' delivery driver comes to your house with a shovel of food and then you have a funnel coming out of your freaking open mouth and he just shovels in all that goddamn fat food into your fat gut while you sit there like the piece of trash that you are taking people people's money so what's Gerard's strategy now right oh he hasn't uploaded on Saturday what's his strategy oh I'm gonna stay as quiet as possible and I just want you guys to forget about it and I want I the nerve the nerve Gerard the completionist had to come on that garbage twitch stream right where you remember when he's tongue kissing his dog and then right later I find out the guy ate his dog on stream. Well, that's another story. So this guy comes on stream and he tells people, there's a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes. I just want people to move on. No, we're not going to move on, okay? You, you did charity fraud. You literally sat there for 10 years at IndieLand. For charity, we've raised over almost a almost million dollars in the last uh, last seven years. AKA shovelware land, like a fat neck beard, telling people that you're donating your money to a good cause. We find out later on, it was sitting in your fast food account, collecting hamburger interest for 10 years in North America. And then he took some of that portion and held it in a fast, held it in a friggin' shawarma account on an offshore Middle East country for 10 years. That's what you did, Gerard the Cuck, huh? We will not forget about it. This is a big bulletin news about this piece of trash did and now his freaking views on his youtube channel are decreasing by every single chance and this guy's weight is increasing every single chance it gets yeah remember when he went on freaking frames per second this cucked podcast and he bragged on their guys i'm gerard the completions i have raised over a million dollars yeah guess what we know exactly what happened to that million dollars it got converted into kilograms and those kilograms went into your fat flaps the freaking back of your neck looks like a pack of bacon for freaking food basics and when you freaking unroll your freaking fat flaps, you have freaking pennies big 6,000 breakaway hidden in there with a bunch of pennies. Everywhere you go, you're just taking food and hiding it into your fat flaps. I had enough. So next time when you go to the goddamn freaking annual golf tournament, no Gerard, a freaking golf ball is not a sugary covered timber. Stop trying to bite and eat the timber. I'm not trying to be like, do you guys want money to help me hide this? It's not what this is at all. Bit because those timbits are being teed off into the sky and then they're freaking revolving around your fat gut because your gut, Gerard, has its own gravitational force. People can't even have it enjoy a good game of golf. Instead, those balls are freaking going straight up into the sky and orbiting around your fat gut. You think it's a goddamn timbit. You try to bite into it. You create dents in the goddamn golf ball. Then you realize it's not and you take the goddamn freaking poor man's nine iron and use it as a toothpick to clean your goddamn teeth. I've had it, okay? The first planet and your your gut gravitational force is friggin' Big Mac, and the second goddamn planet out there is McChicken Sandwich, and the friggin' asteroid belt is a bunch of popcorn chicken, and all the nebulas and galaxies you see in the far distance is sweet and sour, barbecue sauce and cheese was mixed all together to create all these colorful effects. No, Gerard, okay, get your fat self up out of your stupid goddamn mattress. If you need help, I'll come on over and wedge your fat gut out of the goddamn mattress with a canoe paddle. Put on your stupid sequential XL purple grimace tea, and your sequential XL friggin' joggers, head on over to the friggin' Uber taxi because your fat lard can't friggin' run to the bank. Get your goddamn taxi, drive on over there, take your stupid little checkbook with a friggin' cupcake on one. So to say the money is missing is simply wrong. 
one side and a hamburger image on the other side. And when you flip through the goddamn checkbook, there's a Giphy animation of Gerard the Lard eating a goddamn cu cupcake, inhaling it like friggin' Kirby's Triple Chalux G's friggin' pizza. And in the amount section, put six hundred and sixty thousand dollars because you took you friggin' uh, increased it by uh, sixty thousand hamburger interest. Six hundred and sixty thousand dollars in the amount section. In the two section, do not put Gerard's fat gut. No, we do not want more food in your gut. What we want in the two section is dementia research, breast cancer research, cancer research, and donate it to the goddamn charity of your choice, you stupid, disgusting prick.